Hello, good day. Today is another reaction. We are gathered here today to watch none other than Edge of Tomorrow. I know we're having two Tom Cruise movies in a row, but that's just how it is. That's just how it turned out. I'm so excited. I don't know anything about this movie. And yeah, all I know is that it's Tom Cruise because you guys told me about it on the community poll we had a week ago, I think I posted it. So everyone was like telling me, oh, there's two Tom Cruise movies. We're just gonna dive straight into it. If you'd like to watch my full reaction, it's somewhere on Patreon. If you'd like to follow me on other social media, it's all linked down below. Thank you guys so much for being here and clicking into the video. Let's get watching Edge of Tomorrow. To feed them in France, we'll be fighting them in the streets of London, then New York, then Tokyo. All of humanity is at stake. After five years, we finally have a victory. This is an alien invasion and a global war. In a limited amount of training, we've been able to create super soldiers. Look at Reed Vertasky, the Angel of Verdun. You're calling her the Angel of Verdun. Rita Vertasky was able to kill hundreds of mimics on only her first day. On her first day? Revolutionary new technology. Bam. We've got him contained. And with this new technology, we're going to defeat him. Operate. Mm hmm. Recognize invasion in the history of mankind. We will be victorious. That's what we do. So he's a major in this movie. And he wants a samurai in the other one we just watched. We're leaving pressure in the Eastern Front, allowing the Russians and Chinese to push the enemy back. We all meet in the middle, exterminating this mimic scourge along the way. Mimics. When the smoke clears and the body bags start coming home, people tend to look for someone to blame, someone like me. Ideally, I'd prefer a different scenario. You ship out to the coast in one hour. Your camera crew is standing by. You'll be on the beach with the first wave. The front? France! You know, I do what I do, and you, you do what you do. <laughs> I'm not a soldier, really. Mm. That's why I'm embedding you with several hundred thousand men and women who are. While it is an honor, General, I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline. Can't stand the sight of blood. Not so much as a paper cut. <laughs> he doesn't care. You don't even have the authority. I have spoken to your CEO. You are now under my command. You will retain your present rank, of course. My secretary has all the details. Damn. Good luck. You are dismissed. Mm. I just inspired millions of people to join your army and they're looking for someone to blame. How hard do you think it would be for me to convince people to blame you? Are you blackmailing me, Major? Mm-hmm. Yes. Not to be filming acts of heroism and valor on that beach tomorrow. Oh, he's gonna get it. You won't be. I'm glad we could uh, work this out in a few <gasps> He has to do something worse. Arrest this man. What? Oh, he has to get going. On your Full metal bitch. Boat operating base Heathrow. You just came in with the fresh recruits. My name is Major William Cage. I'm an American officer. Officer? This is processing. How the hell did you end up in processing? What was it? Folk or not? Bachelor party? <laughs> We're fixing to invade France. This whole FOB's on lockdown. No calls. In or out. Okay, so what are we gonna do about him? Master Sergeant Phil. Master Sergeant Phil, you're an American. No, sir. I'm from Kentucky. Well, look at me. Huh? <laughs> I've been railroaded. It's obvious I don't belong here. Is it though? They go a lot of cranberries there, do they? Tomatoes. Best you ever had. Why they call it cranberry then? Why they call it Science Hill? Never ask. Don't care. <laughs> He's so honest though. Seems about the only honest thing you said to me so far is your name. It says here you were caught impersonating an officer. It says here you'd likely try to make an outside and anything to get out of combat duty tomorrow. But that's not gonna happen. Ever. Private Cage. <gasps> He's not an officer. That you're a coward and a liar putting your life above this. Private Cage, J Squad. Oh, sure ain't Officer Cufflinks. Crack him, my ass. 
Through readiness and discipline, we are masters of our faith. You'll come around. Private. He just ate the cards. He will be combat ready at 06 Honey tomorrow. Combat ready. That ain't food. Tomorrow morning, you will be baptized. Born again. PT, 10 minutes. Uh oh. You're not in uniform. Private. How much of that card does she have? I feel like she's been stuffing her face with it like five times now. Okay. So far, it seems very promising. No, they use machines in this. Okay. Is that smart though? Aren't they called mimics? Imagine the creatures are mimicking what they are using. I gotta be free, man. Yeah, well, I've never been with two girls at the same time before. But you can bet when that day comes, I'll make it work. <laughs> Where is the safety? Exactly. <laughs> oh, there she is. Yeah, private cage. Something tells me it won't be nearly that long. What are you doing, man? I don't think it's not that he doesn't want to help his country or world, I should say. I think it's more that he's terrified and doesn't believe in himself. He doesn't have the confidence. We won't get the fight enough. I know the pressure. That's what I believe. Remember, there's no courage without fear. Yeah, there's a dead guy in here. <laughs> hey, watch your back out there. No one else will. Damn. How do I turn the safety off of my weapon? Safety off! Oh my god! On my mark! Activate drop lines! Remember! Guys, still burning. Holy man! Oh, this is gonna be a movie where we just show sheer dumb luck. I love movies like that. Uh oh. Yeah, uh oh. That was it for her? That can't be it for her. They've been hyping her up. What the hell? She's not dead. She's just resting, right? Look alive if you want to stay that way. No one is answering him though. Oh great. Hey! Hey! Oh my lord. <laughs> He's gonna wake up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get in line before I bust your hole in my boot heel, maggots! Hold up there, son. Fire a crucible, which the, the only, only true, true heroes, heroes are, are forged. Did you just interrupt me, Private? The fire crucible, in which the only true heroes are forged. Regardless of what kind of parasitic scum they were going in. What? What? 
crack of my ass. Private Kimmel, what is my view of gambling in the barracks? Dislike it, Sergeant Farrell. Huh? Notion that our fate is in hands other than our own. The mimics are mimicking his day. No. I'm so confused. Do you know where the safety is? I'm not sure. Good. He could have asked though. Where's the safety of my weapon? Well, that didn't help anything. Incoming! I'm hit. I'm hit. Is there a, a, a lot of blood? Uh, holy fuck! And we're back to it. Okay, so it repeats every single time he dies. You have to listen to me! They know we're coming! They're waiting for us! You're all doomed! You're doomed! Bitch, I don't know. Ford, Skinner, Griff, you're. He doesn't I talk don't much. <laughs> Your very lives depend on it. <laughs> One minute. Yeah! He finally landed it. <laughs> oh, he died because of it. Poor man, imagine... Imagine having to go through the same every single time. We have to go, this dropship is about to explode. Wait! He's done this many times. Come on! That's how she managed to do it! They said she killed 100 mimics on her first day. She's the same as him. Find me when you wake up. Come find me when you wake up. What are you? Wait, but she told him to find him. No, she wanted him to find her. What the hell were you thinking? With a form of glorious combat. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> Do not cross, man. Tomorrow, at the beach, you said to find you when I wake up. Come with me. Now. You don't Sorry, I just hit you guys. Please just explain to me what the hell is happening. What happened to you happened to me. I had it, I lost it. Let's go, come on! When did he die? Where? On the beach, tomorrow. How many fingers am I holding up behind my back? This is the first time we've had this conversation. You should try this on him. What the hell is that? It doesn't work. What the hell? She almost stabbed him. I'm Dr. Carter. He's also the only other person who'll believe what's happening to you. Right, well, first of all, you're not fighting an army. You have to think of this as a single organism. And this is the Omega. And the Omega has the ability to control time. Whenever an Alpha is killed, an automatic response is triggered. The Omega starts the day over again. It wants us to throw everything we have into the invasion. Operation Downfall isn't our end game. It's the enemy's. Perfectly evolved, world-conquering organism. How do people come up with this? You have to die. Oh. Every day. Until the Omega is destroyed. First of all, this is a terrific presentation. <laughs> He's not doing it. I went to you see the General it. Cade any number of times. Psych ward. Dissection. Remember? He knows. The Omega senses when it's losing control of its power. E even now, it's mentally searching to find it. You'll start to see that. You'll even see where it is. You're gonna get me there. And I'm gonna kill it. I'm not even trained for combat. You will be. I think I broke something. 
This is the only rule. You get injured on the field, you better make sure you die. I was hit. I woke up in a field hospital with three pints of someone else's blood, and I was out. I lost the power. Do you understand? Hmm. Don't you? What? I have what you had. <sighs> All right, let's go again. Poor guy. You don't have time to think. It's not enough knowing where they're going to be. You have to know how to kill them. I just, oh, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. <sighs> okay, do it. All the options. Oh, you mean sex? Yeah, tried it. How many times? All right. Oh, you filthy boy, Cage. It's there. Training is over. I'll see you tomorrow. We don't even know where we're going. We will soon enough. In the meantime, you need to figure out a way to get us off that beach. He needs to? Why is no one helping him? Which way? Focus. Which way? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, man! Hmm. You're not being specific. You okay. need to be specific. But, otherwise, I'm dead. Just... At the top of that trench, and then I'm going to turn left. She's not meant to survive this, I think. Barrel on my strong as I'll buy a bollock for losing track of you! Now I'm gonna close my eyes. Uh, I didn't mind the extra push ups. He's been through this so many times. Poor man. I know. Power's gone. The mimic's looking for him? They're looking for him. You can do this. You can. What the? There's the ambush waiting for us down there. They kill us before we find a working car. Okay, so what's the current plan? Two cars we haven't tried yet. The minivan. Yeah. The green SUV. Okay. Don't forget to disconnect the caravan before you take off. We're going to be in a hurry. You don't want any dead weight. He's done this so many times. Can you? She was supposed to take it off. It's good driving. I forgot. That's the way to take it off. You know, you eventually do talk to me. You tell me your middle name. Peyton. That's not my middle name. He's trying to get information. That's not possible. Then how do I know his name? When did I mention him? Under what circumstance? See why he won't talk to me. Oh. Oh. And I watched him die 300 times, and I remember every detail. I remember everything, so I don't need to talk about it. It's just war. There's nothing here, Let's keep going. Oh, <gasps> no way. Who has that in their backyard? What is it? It's nothing, I'm fine. What is it? It's nothing. Rita, let me see. She got hurt. Oh, man. We have to find the keys to the helicopter. We don't have our jackets or ammunition. It's gonna be dark in a few hours. Might be better off just going back to the farmhouse, seeing what we could salvage. I can't believe you found coffee. Imagine that. Sugar, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, hold on. Three. You like three. They've been here before. It's the same dead end. 
There's a shirt over there. Should be your size. I'm so mind blown. How many times? Where are the yeah, goddamn okay. keys? If you start that engine, you die. As far as you go. No matter what I do, this is as far as you ever make it. And if I go on and kill the Omega, you're dead. Forever. Why does it matter what happens to me? I wish I didn't know you, but I do. Oh. Did she make it? I don't think she make it. Oh, she blinked. She's alive. Oh, she's dying. Oh. My middle name is Rose. Where's your helmet? No, we wear one. It's a distraction. Have you been drinking? I need three more clips of five, five, six, eight grenades, and an extra battery. There's a dead guy in it. No, oh, how is he going to do this? Does that mean that Rita is dead? Because she always died at the beach. Ooh, there it is. But it doesn't exist. Oh, <gasps> it actually doesn't. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, he's bleeding out. He has to die. It isn't there. My there. guess is, it never was. But I can't get it to work, not with the equipment I have on hand. So all you need to do is go to Whitehall. We don't need one. We got the next best thing. When the Chinese delegation comes out, we pick up the pen. This movie has been so confusing, but I've been loving it. This had better be critical. Fate of mankind, critical enough. Major General Beaumont calling from Halifax. His plane's just been delayed. Yes. Thank you, Beaumont. I'll call you back. He's been through this day so many times. General, th this isn't the first time we've had this conversation. That's, that's because you're, you're stubborn. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah. <laughs> no matter how many times we have this conversation, you refuse to accept that the enemy breaks through to London tomorrow, we lose everything. This device requires a live mimic to work. What use is it to you? That's my concern. I would locate this Omega and bomb it out of existence. You're not mentally equipped to fight this thing, and you never will be. I wonder how many tries this has taken them. Nobody know! Stick it in your leg! Do it! Paris. What do you see? Oh, the museum. Oh no, he only has one try now or they're gonna die. <laughs> Please tell me. Sorry. Oh, she's not. <gasps> Everything is because of the freaking guards. They should have shot him the second they saw it. I was out of those things in three minutes flat cage. What's wrong with you? Oh, thank God. And then he tells me my second grade teacher was called Miss Polio. She wouldn't let him go to the bathroom, made him wet his pants. <laughs> <laughs>
a good confidence boost for tomorrow. Thanks, Cage. I think there has to be something that we can do. A way that we can win. There is a chance. It's a slim one. And there's only one chance. <sighs> That's the full metal J squad. This is Rita Vitaski. Otherwise known yeah, as... Yeah, yeah. The Angel of Verdun. Oh, he speaks? <laughs> he can talk? No, you heard what Cage said. Do not kill an alpha. We kill an alpha, the Omega reset this whole day. We'll never even remember we had this conversation. So what am I supposed to do if one of those alphas is about to kill me? Take a hit for the team. I'm going in, Cage. He cares about her so much. 30 seconds till contact. Wow, Tom Cruise really is a Romeo in every movie. Drop! You're not hooked in! Come on, wake up, get out of it, and get up. You don't have the time. Thank you. What took you so long? I thought you could see the future. I haven't lived this day. What matters is we finish this. There must be a thousand mimics between us and that pyramid. It just needs to get us across there with speed. If the engines are still running, we could steer with the power levers. Damn. I'm not gonna be any good in there, mate. We're good to go. Where are they? We're Skinner and Griff! Go, brother. You gotta go, man. I'll see you in the next life. Coming! You only have one chance of this. Uh oh. He's not gonna survive this at all. How is he alive? At this point, how is he alive? Getting out of here. That is so sad, actually. Thank you for getting me this far. I wish I had the chance to know you better. Oh. They're trying to get me. They're trying to get me. Just like that. Just before sunrise this morning, a large surge of energy was detected in Paris. She's here. Does she know? Does she remember? What do you want? <laughs> I need to know. Caught me off guard, it threw me off. <laughs> okay, fair point. Fair point. Okay, so I've never seen a movie like this before, and it's it was so confusing at the start. 
at the very beginning, I was so confused. And then everything just started to make more sense. And at the ending, I'm kind of confused again. <laughs> because now he's like an app, like he's actually a major. But no one remembers anything that's happened. It has never happened. Now it was like that the fight was like the day before, kind of. Oh, it was so good, though. And now we know that Rita and Bill Cage is alive at the end. That made me very happy. That was that for this video. If you'd like to watch my full reaction together with me, it's over on Patreon as usual. If you'd like to connect I'm on all social media, link down below. I really like this one. It went over all expectations, but The Last Summer is still my favorite Tom Cruise movie and favorite movie of all time. Yeah, <laughs> I promise that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye guys.